RC Steve B here. Now we're doing a little bit of a different video this morning. Um, a lot of people, when I'm out and about on the trails, or when I say a lot, I mean you know one or two, have asked me uh, about some of my scale accessories. And some of you may or may not know, but I actually do make a lot of my own scale accessories, such as these down here. As you can see, we've got a toe strop made from a shoelace uh, that was super glued at one end with a bit of heat shrink over the top. We have a scale bungee cord, which is made from, if I can pick the damn thing up, which is made from a paper clip, which was twirled around, super glued, and then it's a, a hair grip. Uh, sorry, a hair, hair band or scrunchie, or whatever it is you want to call it. We've got a dog bowl here, which was made from one of those little bungs that you get at the bottom of a, um, the aluminium pipes when you buy like one of these aluminium um, greenhouses and that sort of thing. And then we've got a bed roll there, which is just a bit of material that's rolled around with a strip. I've also made some other bits for myself there. If you can see in there, um, as you might know, I've got my own little scale RC car in there. You can see a rope in there, which is just made from a bit of tent, tent rope. And you can see the remote control there, uh, 110 scale remote control, which is actually just made from two um, weights, two five gram weights that you put on the front of a truck, a little bit of pipe in between, and then a little bit of heat shrink over a bit of wire at the top. The aerial on this one, on uh, this one, and on uh, this one, are all made from guitar strings. Um, most of the things that are on top of there, I've made myself, obviously apart from the fuel can, but you can see the roll mats and everything else like that in there. Uh, but what I'm going to show you today is, this. you can see two of them there, and they're the little water bottles. Um, very, very easy, very, very cheap, because, ah, hello, they're all made from... <clears throat> Or one of these. Now anybody that does modelling or anything like that obviously knows what this is. Why has it got tissue wrapped onto it? I must have put it on tissue before I turned it off. Right, ignore the tissue. But you know what one of these is. Yours probably looks a damn sight better condition than mine. This is a, a glue melt, hot, hot glue gun, um, that melts the, the, the glue sticks, the aforementioned glue sticks. And that's it. That's all they're made out of. And a bit of Ravel stroke Humbrol paint at the end and a pencil sharpener so without further ado let's get on with it and uh, we'll see how it's done here we go right so i'm not going to use a full glue stick because um i've already made a couple um so i'll just leave that one there i'm just going to show you on this little bit of glue stick that we've got left so all you need to do is now i normally do this before i cut it and that way you get a better grip Standard common or garden kiddies pencil sharpener. Put the end in and then start twisting it very carefully. And you'll see you get little shards of glue coming off. Little wisps of glue there. So I'll take that out and have a look. And as you can see, we're starting to get a shape at the top. So I'll do it a little bit more. Keep twisting it, I think we get a nice neck bottle shape, which I think that will do. And then comes the technical part. We then get, which I had on the desk, no, nope, I must have put it back in my box, just bear with me one second. We then get I mean, you can use any colour glue, any colour paint you want. I like the blue because I think the blue represents water. And this is just Common or Garden Ravel paint. Uh, you can use Humbrol. You can you can use what you want. I mean, you might even be able to use a sharpie. I don't know. I've never never really thought about it. So we'll just open that. This one is number fifty. Should you want to use this one and then just get your glue stick and dunk 
just the top in like that and then give it a bit of a, a wipe off and then what I tend to do then after that is I will then put it somewhere to dry purely because it's easier to cut and if you hang it like that the paint then runs down so what we'll do is we'll leave it there for a few minutes time is 11.45 now so we'll come back a little bit later on and uh, we'll do it I'm pretty sure that you can guess what the next section of this uh, this mega build is but you know we'll see I like to keep people in suspense We'll see how it goes. See you in a minute. <sighs> right, the time is now 1.30. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a different t-shirt, it's because I've been and had a shower. Um, so what we're going to do is now is we're going to cut. This is the exciting part. This is the bit where it makes it all the sense. We're going to cut the bottle. So if I have that there. I'll bring that in there and just make sure that it's... there we go right now then now there are different ways that you can do this but the way that I found that is the easiest now it depends on how big a water bottle you want as well I mean you could have like a big water bottle or you could have a small water bottle I prefer like the little little water bottles but if you just roll it trying to keep your knife as straight as possible And there you go. There is your little a 110 scale water bottle. As simple as that. Uh, you can add a bit more detail to it if you want. Um, or you can just leave it like that. Um, you could even paint it and, you know, turn it into a, a Coke bottle. You could put a red lid on it or something like that. But as you can see... They do actually look quite the business when they're actually in there. You can see the one in there as well. So, there you go. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't too boring. Now, I will say before I go, I actually can't take responsibility for this. Um, I got the idea from a guy called Pascal, who runs a brilliant YouTube channel. Um, it goes by the name Sata Rotors. I'm going to try... Oh, Hello there. Hello, Broody. Hello, Broody Buttons. <clears throat> oh, he's off. Right. Right. Um, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and add a link to his channel uh, at the end of this video. If I can't do it at the end of the video, then what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description. Um, check out some of his build videos because the, the guy is absolutely amazing. He makes absolutely fabulous things and it's well worth checking out his channel. So until next time, um, I'll leave a couple of um, things at the end of this video, which will be links to videos, some of my favourite videos that I've done with the RC side of things. And um, hopefully we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're all going up to the Licky Hills with the Urban Monkey Scrawlers. Um, so you should get another video just before Christmas time. So if you don't see you before, have a great Christmas and uh, I'll see you in the new year. But if you do subscribe to me, which you should be doing by now, I will see you in a couple of weeks. All right. Have a good one, guys. And just remember, happy RCing.